Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to handle some problems that involve division of segments and angles. In the first problem, uh, we're asked uh, to find the measure of angle ROS. Well, we're given that ray OP, uh, ray OR, uh, trisect the large angle NOS. We're also given that NOP is equal to 3x minus 4y angle POR is equal to x minus y, and angle ROS is equal to y minus 10. So all three of these angles, NOP, POR, and ROS are all congruent because we're told that OP and OR trisect angle NOS. So I know that NOP is equal to POR and it's equal to ROS. So we're going to solve, we're going to set up two equations, we're going to solve for one variable and then we're going to use substitution to find out what the answers are. Okay, so I know that angle POR is equal to ROS. So X minus Y, which is POR, is equal to Y minus 10. And if I rewrite this in terms of X, I have X is equal to 2Y minus 10. Now I set up another two angles. NOP is equal to POR. So <clears throat> NOP uh, I have as 2Y minus 30 is equal to Y minus 10. Now, NOP is going to be 3x minus 4y. So what I've done here is I've substituted the value that I got for x uh, by solving the equation of angle POR is equal to ROS. And I found out that that value is 2y minus 10. And then I substituted that value in for x <clears throat> uh, and the angle NOP. So now I have 3 times 2y minus 10 minus 4y is equal to 2y minus 10 minus y. So again, I've also substituted in this value here for POR because I have X minus Y. So I want to, now, now that I have just one variable, which was my goal by using substitution, I can solve for that one variable by simplifying. So if I simplify the left-hand side of the equation, I have 2Y minus 30. And if I simplify the right-hand side of the equation, I have now Y minus 10. And that leads me to y is equal to 20. So if I subtract y from both sides, I have just one y. I add 30 to both sides, I have uh, 20. So y is equal to 20. Now I can take the value of uh, 20 for y and plug it back into my value that I got, or any equation for any angle, to solve for x. So if x is equal to 2y minus 10 and y is equal to 20, then x is going to be equal to 30. So 2 times 20 minus 10 is 30. So I'm asked to find out what the value of the angle or the measure of angle ROS is. I know that the equation for ROS is x minus y. I know that the value of x is 30. I know um, the value of y is 20. And then I have this value 10. So I'm sorry, the, the value for ROS is y minus 10. So I get 20 minus 10. And then 10 degrees is my answer. And I'll know that 10 degrees is going to be the answer for all of the three angles in question because those two rays trisect and divide the larger angle, NOS, into three congruent angles. So I have 10 degrees, 10 degrees, and 10 degrees. In the next problem, number 23, I know I'm given that angle BAC, which is a large angle, so BAC, BAC, is 120 degrees. I know that ray AD bisects angle BAF, so I know that BAD is congruent to angle DAF. So I'm going to label these two angles as X. I also know that ray AE bisects angle FAC. So I know that FAE is congruent to EAC. So I'm going to label these two angles Y. Now I need to find the measure of just DAE, which is DAF plus FAE. Well, I know that BAC is equal to 2x plus 2y, and I know that BAC is also equal to 120 degrees. So I know that 2x plus 2y is equal to 120 degrees, and I know if I divide everything on the left-hand side and the right-hand side by 2, I end up with x plus y is equal to 60 degrees. Well, DAE is just DAF, which is x, and FAE, which is y, uh, has a measure of y. So I know that DAE is just the measure of DAE is just x plus y, or 60 degrees. In the last question, number 24, I'm asked to find the measure of each angle. Now there are two angles, and they're both in the ratio, and they're in the ratio of 5 to 3. 
The measure of the larger angle is 30 degrees greater than half the difference of the angles. I need to find the measure of each angle. Well, I'm going to designate y as my smaller angle and x as my larger angle. So I know that 5 times y is equal to 3 times x. If I simplify that further, I know that y is equal to 3 fifths x. Then using the equation that uh, I've been given that the larger angle x is going to be 30 degrees greater than <clears throat> half of the difference of the two angles, I can set up two equations. One is x is equal to 30 plus 1 half x minus y. The other is 30 plus 1 half y minus x. So now I go through the process of solving these. x is equal to 30, the first one, 30 plus 1 half x minus y. I get x is equal to 30 plus 1 half x minus 1 half y. And then if I go through the solution, I end up seeing that x is equal to 37 and a half degrees and y is equal to 22 and a half. If I take the second equation, y is equal to 30 plus uh, 1 half y minus x, Then I end up with the, with the equation x is equal to 30 plus 3 tenths x minus 1 half x. Simplify to x is equal to 30 minus 1 fifths x. Simplify again to 6 fifths x is equal to 30. And then I find out that x is equal to 25 and y is equal to 15. So you have two answers for this question. One based on an equation where uh, you have x is equal to 30 plus 1 half times x minus y. And the other is equal to 30 plus 1 half y minus x.